okay? Um, I don't wish to give my home address, though. All right, no, that's not a problem, Robert. Um, I'll, I can use your can you can I use your name? Yes, yes, absolutely. Right. Yeah. What I'll do, uh, Robert. Um, what kind of questions are you are you wanting to answers to? Well, do you mind if I just run run it through you the the questions through you? It's just one question, really. Do you do you, do you mind? No, go for, go for it. Um, in your insight in the scripture book, it talks about when Christ died on the tree. He made a new covenant, but only with the anointed, the 144,000 Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, have, I, have I got that right? Yeah, yeah, the, what, yes, that's right, basically, yes. Okay, how do the great crowd have their sins forgiven? I mean, you're not surely going to say that Christ made two separate covenants for two separate people, surely, when he died yeah. on the tree. That's, that's right. When he was put to death, uh, he was put to death, and that actually, as long as we're obedient to God, that our sins are forgiven through because of his death. So um, he covers everybody, everybody living. You can't be obedient to God. It's impossible. That's why Christ died on the tree because human beings cannot obey God perfectly. They cannot keep God. No, on, we, yeah, but we can do our best, can't we? That's what I'm saying. Uh, your best isn't good enough. The Bible, the Bible looks for surely. Well, that's why Jesus perfection. died, and, that, and that's why I'm saying that you need somebody that's closer at hand, Robert, that, that can explain it. And possibly on Zoom would be better, like you said. Yes, yes, okay. So, so okay. Um, let me just put a little note of that. Um, 44. Cover number. Cover number. Um, the verse I was thinking of was 2 Corinthians chapter 5, yeah. verse 21. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that yes. we might become the righteousness of God in him. So Christ died on the tree to do two things, to take the sins of his people unto himself and to impute his righteousness unto yeah. his people. Now, if the great crowd have no covenant, surely have, they have no basis for the forgiveness of their sins, surely. Yeah, but you see, Jesus, because Jesus died, that's what helps to forgive our sins. It's, we are sinners, we're all sinners, are we not? You've accepted that. But this verse is, is talking about people who are in the new covenant. Christ imputes yeah. his righteousness to those who are in the new covenant, and he takes their sins unto himself. That's the new covenant. If a person isn't in the new covenant, then surely they're lost. They're not somebody who, who's, you know, trying their best and, and hoping that it's going to be okay. Oh, yeah, I know, I know where you're coming from. It is quite involved because you've got to go right back to the book of Genesis and to go through all this. What I will do, Robert... Um, no, I will get... no.